Hello, students. Welcome to our English class. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Are you ready? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to all of you. I know that most of us were here ready to start our classes, so it's a pleasure to see you here with this chance to ready and also speak English. So, well, yesterday we have a, a very important class because we had the opportunity to interact with groups and we were talking um, a lot about different important topics. We will continue with a different topic to share today. And also, I expect that all of your partners can join the class today. And you got a freedom to ask questions and participate actively in the class because the, one of the goals is that you feel confident with the topics that we are studying, and at the same time can reinforce you to work in the activities in the platform, because it's a priority that at the end of every week, we can conclude all the exercises in the platform English Corporativo. So plus the attendance, the attendance right here in the class, that's mean that you have to be here in the class. So before that we start the class, I just want to ask you, what we studied yesterday, what did you remember? What we studied, what valuable topics we developed yesterday? Who wants to help me? Hello? And like and dislike conditional good. Aha, uh -huh, okay. What we else? Practice uh, speak about the family. Excellent. Okay, so we were talking about family. So for that reason, we said that we had an exercise that we had to develop in this class. So briefly, we will conclude all the exercises and I hope that you took this time to work in this exercise. So let me show you right here what we have. The topic that we will share about this video conference 12 is the present continuous. So, you know, the time has gone so fast that we're about to finish the next week um uh, part of the activities uh, let me show you here and this one um in the last class we were developing some exercises related to family so but we couldn't complete some of them so for that reason in a briefly way we will take a short time to to answer so you will help me back to remember the exercises that we developed so please do me the favor with that let's go with the first one and number one, and we said like the two or three, I remember. We said that the first one is the husband of your aunt is your uncle. That was the first one. So you can compare it. The husband of your, your aunt is uncle. A person's father or mother is considered a parent. A person's father or mother is a parent. And also plural is parents to say padres in Spanish. Your brother's wife is sister in love. That's what we said yesterday. Your brother's wife is sister in love. The next one, number four, the son of your sister is, the son of your sister is, What is that? Cousin? No, is the son? Nephew. The nephew. nephew, yes, is the nephew. That's correct. So also we write it here. Nephew, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, look at the next one. Uh, check here. Um, a person's 
female child. A person's female child. Aha, uh -huh, what this could be. Niece? A person's female child. In that case, is a daughter, a do daughter, to say la hija, right? The female child is a daughter. Okay, and this is it. number six. This is pretty easy. The father of your father. Grandfather. Grandfather. Exactly, the grandfather. Another way to say another way to say grandfather. Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Granddad, yeah. Granddad. Okay, and a child of your uncle? Cousin. Cousin. Exactly. It's the cousin. The child of your uncle is your cousin. And two sons of mother and father are? Brothers. 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 Yes, brothers. Number eight. Uh, oh, well, actually, it's this one. Um, a woman on her wedding day. Her bride. Bride. Yes. Bride. 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 Yes. 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 Bride. Exactly. Look at that. And this is for. This is for, yeah, for a woman and for men is, and for men is? The same. Uh, for, for, for a man? Not is the same. No. Grown? Exactly. Is groom, right? That's we said, um, like this. Uh, look at this, look at this. Okay. Teacher, can you write this word, groom? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that is groom. Why? <laughs> it's new for me. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. And also there is, a, there is another one that we say, que es como, como, como novio comprometido. Uh, it's like this one. Oh, also, um, yeah. That's um, that's a good way. Some examples. Okay, so great job. So we did we did a great job right there. Okay, so let's continue with the next topic. And also the topic that we will develop in this class is this one, is the present continuous. I, I think that for you could be like a brief, a brief and easy exercise. I would like to ask you, do you remember this topic? Do you remember the present continuous? Um, ¿Se acuerdan de este tema? Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be like a, a brief uh, explanation about the present continuous form. So I think it's not going to be so difficult, right? So look at the first one. We have the positive and negative. I need a volunteer for helping me to read the positive and negative. Who wants to help me to read this, please? Mm. Yes. Me. Okay, thank you. Read wow. Yes, uh positive and negative, this one and this one. Okay. I am working. You are working. He is working. She is working. It is working. We are working. They are working. I'm working. You're working he's working 
She's working. It's working. We're working. They're working. Negative. I am not working. You are not working. He is not working. She is not working. It is not working. We are not working. We are not working. They are not working. I am not working. You're, you aren't working. He isn't working. She's, she isn't working. It isn't working. We aren't working. They aren't working. So you can appreciate here the structures in, in positive and negative, and also use contractions like um, your, his, she's, it's, we are there, right? In a short, in a short form, and also the negative form like I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, isn't, right? So in that case, we use uh, the subject plus the verb be, and the next verb goes with ing form to make it continuous. And also we have some questions like, am I, are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are they, using the question forms. Um, also we have the short answers like, yes, I am, I'm not, I am not, or I'm not. Given some important details that most of the time we use contractions when speaking, it is not common to use it um, in written form. When you're writing something, it's important to write it in the complete or natural form. You say, I'm not, you are not. He is not because it's a formal, formal writing. Um, contractions can be used most of the time in conversations when we speak, when we are communicating because contractions were made to have a fast and easy communication. So that's why people say, I'm not doing this one. She's not working on that. I'm trying to do that one. I'm not doing this. Because in a conversation, it's very common to use contractions because it's a, a very easy way. And also you can see here the two, the two ways, the for normal form and the contractions. If she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, they aren't. So we, we understand that. And also you can see the spelling. Look at that. When the when the verb ends in Y, we add ing, studying. You can see the examples, right? Working, living. If the verb ends in E, we delete E and we add ing like making, living, look at the example. And consonant plus vowel plus consonant to stress, double the consonant because the verb is very short. Run, for example, run is consonant, U is vowel, N is consonant because the verb is very short. We need to add an extra consonant. For example, running, swimming, cutting, for example, cut, cutting. You can see that we had to add an extra consonant. This is like the most general part of the present continuous. And also that I know that for you could be a backup or a review because you haven't studied this one previously, but it's important to have a short, uh, a short review about this activity. So let's see, uh -huh. I'm going to move this. Okay, who wants to help me to read this part, these examples, a volunteer? Me. Thank you. I am watching television. Oh, she... since the rule, uh, present continuous tense. Uh, present continuous tense. All school and present progressive tense is used to describe actions that are currently ongoing or that may occur in the future. The present tense is usually used in four general cases. One, 
to describe an event that is currently occurring. For example, I am watching television. She is currently completing her work. Children are playing in the park to list upcoming events. For example, what are you going to wear tomorrow? I hear that you are coming to the evening party. So you are moving to the Paris next month. Thank you so much. So you can see here the examples about the present, about the present continuous, also called present progressive. So it's the same. Some people say present progressive, but it's the same as present continuous because the main action is described actions that are currently ongoing or are actually actions that are happening at the time of speaking. So we could summarize like, um, usamos el presente continuo para hablar de cosas que están pasando en este momento. Si yo les pregunto, ¿qué están haciendo en este momento? What are you doing? So, are paying attention, you are listening, you are watching the screen, you are writing, you are reading, you are checking the information, you are taking notes. So you are doing different actions in this precise time. So that's why we use the present progressive. But at the same time, we use the present continuous to talk about actions that will occur in the future. Two ideas about it. And also the first one that was read is to describe an event that is currently occurring. Sure. Um, lo que acabamos de mencionar es lo que usted ha estado haciendo, entonces es una acción que está pasando en este preciso momento. I'm paying attention, I'm listening, I'm writing, I'm taking notes, I'm checking the information, so you have different things to do. Vamos con la número dos. Um, list of coming events. Um, what are you going to wear tomorrow? Cosas que nosotros, eventos que tendremos a futuro. I heard that you are coming to the evening party. So you're moving to Paris next month. Hey, you are you are studying English at English Corporativo. So you're talking about uh, upcoming events or future activities. For example, hey, I know that you are traveling to Mexico the next week. Yes, I am traveling to Mexico the next week. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great experience. So you're talking about future activities. The next month you're graduating from the university. Wow, that is fantastic. And also, we can check the third rule. The third and the fourth. Uh, who wants to help me to read this rule? A volunteer. Me? Thank you. Number three, for let lengthy action that may be taking place for a temporary period only. For example, he is learning to drive a car. Salima is taking a, sp a spoke English course. The teacher is learning a new language at the moment. For to discuss a new pattern or habit. For example, this day almost people are using mobile phones. She is always putting late with deal deadlines. Uh, headlines. Uh, headlines. That's Head okay. This line. I don't see the more. It's okay. So in that case, the number three sets for lengthy actions that may be taking place for a temporary period only. Por ejemplo, cuando usted está haciendo una actividad, pero esta le lleva un periodo de tiempo. Por ejemplo, para leer un libro. If you want to read a book. Eh, usted lo va a leer, no lo va a leer en un día o en una hora, sino que se va a tardar un periodo de tiempo. Un mes, dos meses, depende. Entonces usted va a utilizar el presente continuo para hablar acerca de acciones que, tiene, que toman un periodo de tiempo. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I am reading a new book about science. I am studying English at English Corporativo, in Sephora. Entonces yo digo, estoy estudiando, significa que estoy estudiando por un periodo de tiempo. No sabemos cuánto, we don't know when. 
the teacher is learning a new language at the moment. Significa que el profesor está aprendiendo un nuevo idioma, pero para eso se va a llevar un periodo de tiempo que en inglés es temporary period, que es un periodo temporal. Ok, so Salim is taking a spoken English course. That's what we are doing now. And I am learning to drive a truck, for example. So it's an action that is taken for a period of time. And uh, to discuss a new, discuss a new pattern or habit. This day, almost people are using mobile phones. It's a habit. She's always running late with deadlines. I am I am always going to the gym, for example, because it's a it's a habit. I am eating healthy food this month because it's a habit. So we can use the present continuous for continuous actions, as we can say. As part of the review, let's continue with the next slide. Sorry. Tengo una pregunta, teacher. Yep. En ese caso, cuando agregamos el ing eh, a los verbos, tendríamos que usar el verbo to be, o sea, para manifestar que la acción está sucediendo en el momento. Eh, ¿Siempre tendría que ser así o, o hay excepciones? Always, always. Is the sentence is present continuous. Eh, as we could see the rules, we could see the rules. Eh, always the verb be is a priority. Because you're saying, I am, you are, he is, she is, plus the verb in ing form. So in that case, it's a priority that you use this factory. Subject, the verb be, plus the verb, mm -hmm. plus ing form. And for equation is the verb be, plus the subject, plus the verb with ing. And you can see the part of the examples. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this is a very easy exercise. So I want you to help me to complete this part. Okay, look at the, the first picture. I don't know. Uh, what do you understand about the first picture? Give me an idea about what you see. People talking about the cell phone. My phone. Okay, and what do you see in the second picture? He carry uh, boxes. Okay. The shopping. Crazy shopping, they're going shopping a lot. Do you think they have the Christmas bonus? Quizá ya le dieron el aguinaldo ahí. <laughs> They are she, buying a lot of... She is calling. Okay. All right. So that's right. So we can see a lot of a lot of bags. I imagine so many things. So I want you to help me to complete the following exercise. It says like complete this phone conversation using the present continuous. We have the first one. Hi, Stephanie. What and the verb in parentheses do? How can you make a sentence using, in this case, this one? What are you doing? Exactly. What are you doing? Hey, Stephanie, what are you doing? Okay, so I will give you a short time to try to complete the exercise. And later, we will compare the answers we have together and we will uh, complete this exercise. So start working with that. Meanwhile, I take this time to check the attendance list and also update it. Yes? Yes. Thanks.
Okay, so I, I will check the attendance list and you say present, please. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Present. Agustina Alexander Santa Maria. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Araceli Esmeralda. Denis Alonso Marinero. Eh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present. Uh, Denis Alonso, Francisco Javier, uh, Freddy José Álvarez, eh, Gabriela Guadalupe, Gabriela María. Gerson Vinicius Moreno. Present. Eh, Glendy Elisette Flores. Here. Thanks. Um, Jennifer Raquel Ayala. I'm here. Thanks. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Present. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva. Presente. Catherine Jasmine Guatemala. Present. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra. Eh, Margarita Elizabeth Panameño. Luisa, micrófono. Yeah, she's there. Uh, Margarita Elizabeth. Mayra Patricia Perez. Present. Eh, Nerly Jaciel Flores. Present. Okay. Eh, Noe Alberto Calzadilla. Wendy Patricia Chavarria. Okay, let's continue with the exercises. Teacher. Yes. Ese creo que no me mencionó o no alcancé a escuchar. Um, could you provide me your name, please? Is Carmen Andrea Santos Martinez. Yes, I mentioned you. Okay, updated. Santos Martinez. Okay. Gracias. Okay, it's updated. All right, don't worry. Okay, are you ready or not yet? Ready. I'm ready. All right, let's check the answers together. Okay, look at this one. Um, letter A, hi Stephanie, what are you doing? Hey Mark, I... Standing in an elevator and it's stuck. I'm standing. I'm standing. standing. Okay. okay, standing in an elevator and it's a stock. Oh no, are you okay? Yes, uh, I wait. It. 
moving. It's moving. It is moving. moving now. Yes, it is or it's moving. Yes, it's correct. Moving. Always using the, the verb be. It is moving or it's moving. It's moving. Yes, that's right. And the next one. Uh, next line. Mercy, how? Are you? Hey, look at this turn. Look, look at the turn. Shopping trip. O sea, imagínense el término como lo dicen. A shopping trip. Porque lleva regalos para todo el año. Entonces, hacen un shopping trip porque van a un centro comercial y, y ven todo, todo el centro comercial. That like kind of shopping trip. ¿Hacen ustedes shopping trips o van a algunas tiendas en específico? Yeah, dollar. Specific. Son specific shop stores. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I should trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you don't when you don't find what you want, you had to make a shopping trip. Y escucharon el término go window shopping. ¿Han escuchado ese término? No. It's like it's an informal expression, like going and shopping. Mm -hmm. Can you can you see the chat? It's when you go to when you go to the malls, you go to the stores, but you don't buy anything. You don't buy anything. You're just like walking walking around. Only seeing. Only oh. seeing. Eh, as well, the, uh, only walking. Only walking. Eh, yeah. yeah. That is the, an informal uh, way. Ir a vitrinear. Ir a vitrinear. Porque usted sabe que no va a comprar nada, pero ahí anda. Ey, qué bonito está. Mirá, si está bien chivo. Y hasta ve. Y ahí. No ya... money. <laughs> no money, just observing, right? Uh, you enjoy watching. Y, los, y, y cuando lo ven dicen, hey, un posible cliente. You no, know, but you're watching. Well, when they're shopping. Okay. Can, can, can you help me? No, no, I'm sorry. I, I only see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Go in the shopping, right? Okay, that's a good example. Okay, um, well, are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We, we, are, we are having a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun. Yes, we are having a we lot are of having. fun. And then your brother? Mm. Are your brother, Are your brother is spending of money? Mm, it's singular, brother. Oh, okay. Is, is your, your brother, brother sorry, is your brother a lot of money? Yes. Is your brother spending a lot of money? Is because it's singular. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom. He he's buying only one or two things. That's all. Are you saying English? That's all. That's all. That's all. Uh, or he's buying, or he is buying only one or two things. That's all. And, but look, look at the context. So, well, are you enjoying your shopping trip? We're having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? Le preguntan a ella que si está el hermano gastando bastante dinero. Y ella le dice, no, mom, he's buying only one or two things. Y a cuando llegue con toda esa bolsa. He's a liar. Yeah, she's lying. Because, I mean, they're getting a lot of bags for them, I guess. Not only for him, I think for her too. So she got the uh, only one bag. <laughs> so. Or only she's uh, uh spending yeah with money maybe imagine in your with your christmas bonus para los para su aguinaldo bono navideño así lo así van a andar ustedes look <laughs> so that that would be the way go window shopping we'll go in i'll go window shopping no <laughs> no no in the shopping <laughs> in a shopping trip yeah i think it's a shopping trip Okay, so after we practice with this part and we have the next exercise. You will help me to complete the following exercises in this part here. It says fill, the, fill in the present progressive 
and used verbs in brackets. He often buys a new notebook. Look, he's buying a notebook again. He usually goes to school. Look, he, and you use the same verbs. So that means that you had to use the same verbs used in the first part of the sentence, but in the second part, you will use it using the ing form. Uh, like the example, he often buys a, not, a new notebook. He's buying a notebook again. He usually goes to school. Look, uh, what do you think would be the, the number one? He's going, He's to school. going to school. He's going to school. He's going to school. That's right. So I want you to take a short time to write in your notebooks uh, the exercises. Um, I don't want you just saying, uh, but I just want you to write it in your notebook because later we will share the answers in the chat, okay? So take a short time to complete this exercise and then we will compare the answers. Let's go.
Are you ready? Yes, I am. Uh, okay, great. Uh, someone else is ready too? Uh, come on. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, two. Um, someone else? Someone else is ready too? You need more minutes? You need more time? Adriana, are you ready? Not yet. Okay, uh, Catherine, are you ready? Uh, Luisa, are you ready? Yes. Okay, okay, let's wait a little bit. Uh, uh, Luisa, your microphone has like a distraction. Okay, let's check the exercise right now. So you can help me with the first one. And uh, help me with the number two. He often drinks coffee a lot. So he... Drinking a coffee. He is drinking, drinking a coffee. Um, is, well, in this case, we will say drinking coffee. So we, we wouldn't, we won't include ah because it's like drinking coffee. So he's drinking oh, okay. coffee. So for that one, right. And maybe the general example was like that, but we don't need aid in the sentence. Okay, number three, I swim every day. Look. Swimming I, swim. day. Swimming. I am swimming. I am swimming. Okay, look at the chat because in the chat I'm updating the way, the, the, the correct way. So swimming has double M. So you can check if you have written in the same way. Oh, she washes her hair every day. Look, she. She's she washing her hair. Her hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's washing. Okay, great. Okay, number five, uh, the cat always drinks its milk. Look. It's drinking its milk. It's, it is. It, it is drinking its it's milk. It's drinking milk. It is 
uh, yeah, you can use contraction like it's drinking or it is drinking. So you can use contraction or the formal way. Uh, number six, we sometimes dance in the living room. Look. We, we dance are here. dancing, we are in, dancing the living room. in the living room. We're dancing. We are dancing. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Dancing. Miss Spelling. Okay. Much better. Okay. Number seven. Uh, we usually, they usually run to church. Look, they. They are running, running to church. They are running. They are running. Mm -hmm. Okay, number eight. Uh, you often write emails. Now you. You are writing. writing. You are writing an email. You are writing. You are writing an, uh, let me see, an email, an email. 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 Yes, you're writing an email. So you can see the answers in the chat. So the spelling form, you say running, uh, also writing, dancing, so you can see the spelling form. Let's conclude with the next exercise we have here. Um, that is a very similar structure to and fill in the present progressive and use the verse in bracket. Mother cooks in the kitchen every day. Right now, mother, so you had to complete it too. And also with cooking in the kitchen. Okay, take uh take five minutes to or less than that to complete it. And then we will socialize it together. Okay, work on that.
Okay, ready? Yes, I read. Yes, I am. Okay, yes. let's check the next one. So we have the number nine here. And also, who wants to help me with the number nine? My mother cooks in the kitchen every day right now. Mother? Cooking. It's cooking. It's cooking in the kitchen. The kitchen, right? Okay. Excellent. So then we have the number 10. It's like, look at what it says. The, the monkey eats bananas. Look at the monkey. Look at the monkey. It's eating. It's eating. Eating. It's eating. Uh, it's eating banana. Eating. Yes, that's that will be eating. Is eating a banana. Number eleven. In the afternoon, we never watch TV. We we are watching. We are watching, we are watching at the moment. moment. We are watching TV at the moment. At the moment. So yeah, we. we At the moment, we are, we are, but we are using contractions. Okay, next, next, next. Um, they sometimes have breakfast. Look, they. They are, they are having, having their they breakfast. They are having their breakfast. They, they are having breakfast. Yes, they are having breakfast. Yes, that, that, that's the way. Look at the example. Okay, number 13. Uh, father usually drives a big car. At the moment, father is driving a little red car. Yeah. Uh, yes. so father is driving a little red, a little red car. Red car, yes, thank you. And then we go on with the number 14 here. The penguin swims very well. Look, the two little penguins. Uh, he, uh, are he, swimming. He it. it is swimming. Uh, Pluto? Are swimming. Are swimming. Are swimming. Yes, swimming. are swimming because it's uh, well, in this case, singular, right? Oh, the penguin swims very well. Look, two little penguins are swimming because in the second part, they see more than one. So we're talking about two. Um, that is plural. That's okay. Number 15, the children always have their breakfast. The children, the children having, are having their, their breakfast. breakfast now. Is having. Uh, plural. The children are having. We're having because remember that children represents a group of kids. So that's mean that we are using are. It's like, for example, people. People are watching the game so we're talking about people a group of you know persons we could say so we're talking about plural okay that's right so what i want you to do is to use the chat this chat and write some sentences about the activities that imagine that you are in your job right now and what I want you to do is to write some sentences about what you're doing. Como hay muchas cosas que hacemos en el trabajo, eh, quiero que en el chat ustedes escriban como que si estuvieran haciendo las cosas en su trabajo. Por ejemplo, estoy haciendo esto. I'm checking this one. I'm monitoring this information. I'm packing some papers. So I want you to write in the chat some sentences using the present continuous.
Okay, I'm adding data to database now. Okay, nice, Jonathan, great sentence. I'm adding, I'm writing a letter for a customer. Okay, that's good. Uh, nice, Maida, that's good. A uh, customer with, um, with, without O. Okay, I'm calculating the sales of this week. Nice, Andrea. That is a good example. I'm reading. Uh, Mayra, you had to add ING. I am reading a legal book. That could be great. Uh, I'm every, uh, every morning making. So, Francisco, uh, you had to add ING. I am making uh, coffee. Look, I'm making coffee. That's okay. Nice, nice, nice. At the moment, I'm cooking the dinner. I'm every day a delicious pizza. Um, oh, yes. I'm sending an email. Nice. Uh, Harrison, great job. I'm sending an email and email. So, tiene que agregarle una N? Yes. An email. I am chatting with other people. Carmen, you had uh, with another, uh, puede ser with other people or with another person. Okay, with other people. Nice, Carmen. Great. Yes, that's okay. And I am having a meeting. Nice, Francisco, I'm having a meeting. Great job. Okay, the last sentences, the last sentence is using the present continuous. Oh, I'm sitting at, at my desk and eating on this light. Okay, my children are watching TV. I'm driving for that. Uh, I'm driving for the office, so we had to change. I driving home or I driving to the office, maybe. So check that. Well, students, I think that the time is actually gone. So I'm just going to give you some recommendations for this week. Don't forget to, I'm drinking coffee. Okay. Uh, don't forget to complete the exercises in the platform because it's a priority that you complete them, all of them this week. And also we see you the next Monday. So I, I hope that you will have a, a great weekend. Enjoyed it a lot and see you the next class. Okay, I see you later. See you Thank you. The next Thank week. you. Everybody. See you Monday. Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night.